All right, guys, we're back with another one, and this is a plain, regular box, and it has a MacBook in it. Now, this is a certified MacBook, and don't mind the box. The box, this box ain't typical of Apple products, but this is certified. In other words, used. So, in other words, used product, used computer, and I thought it'd be a good idea to do an unboxing on it. This is Apple certified. So, in other words, hey, Apple approved that this is some good stuff. This is still a good computer. And when you have Apple Care, you don't have to worry. Once you have Apple Care, you buy it certified, you're good. So, once you get past the exterior of this ugly box, you get into the nice packaging inside. So, the box itself ain't, ain't, ain't no good, but inside is good. And I know you guys love and appreciate good packaging. So the good packaging starts from the inside. So here is the box sleeve that it's going to have all your adapters and plugs and stuff that you need, your book, and also the brick. So just to put this aside for a second. So here's the charge, here's the cords and stuff like that. Here's your charging brick. There's no need to take it out. You guys know how it looks. You just want to see how it's packaged. And it's packaged pretty good. You got the, um, you know, designed in California. Probably made in China. But designed out there. I guess that means something. Which is cool. And I'm not knocking Apple. All of these products are made in other countries and stuff. Nothing is made here in the U.S. So, this that's the product, and this is what you all want to see, the MacBook. And I must say, it looks good. Comes in um, the cool packaging. I want to be a little careful. Not bad. Packaging is nice and neat. The presentation, once you get past the exterior, Ain't bad at all. So they got these foam around it to protect the product. And it looks good. Nice looking presentation. Once you get inside, looks good. Wrapped up in that plastic. Makes it feel like you're buying a very good product, which you are. You're, you definitely are. And buying it certified. A lot of people are gonna, you know, in the comments, you guys are gonna have your opinion on it. But sometimes when you don't want to buy brand new, you're still gonna have Apple Care. Once you have an Apple Care, there's nothing much to worry about. Now, this is definitely a fifth, uh, sorry, a 13-inch uh, MacBook Pro. I'm a, I'm almost sure this is the i5. Probably, hopefully, eight gigs of RAM. This is for my sister. I really don't know what it is. She tried to explain me, but she don't remember what they bought. So you know that's an issue right there. Sorry to my sister. But anyway, I know she got 256, 256 um, gigabytes of flash storage. I don't know if it's 4 or 8 gigs of RAM. Hopefully 8. I already can tell it's the i5 because she said 2.4 gigahertz. So, this definitely should be enough for her and the family. So, I don't have I don't have any issues with the purchase. Just want to make sure she got a good deal. And if she didn't, I'm sure she could send it back, talk to her about it, and that shouldn't be an issue. But buying it certified is not bad. I've looked in the certified area. You guys can see this has been open before, not by us. And Certified MacBook Pro 13 inch, which 13 inch is pretty much what everybody needs. You can go 15 if you really need the real estate, but 13 is pretty good. This is nice, feels premium, looks premium. 
Let me just give you guys a little tour. The feet underneath. It says MacBook Pro. It has the real small screws at the bottom. I guess these are exhaust ports. Uh, I don't think the I think these are fanless. Once it says SSD, I, um, I'm sure it's fanless. I know um, this is like maybe a year old. I'm not sure about that, but I think it's a year old. I'm not familiar with Mac products, guys. And with the limited information she gave me, I'm pretty sure this is the i5, four gigs of RAM, 256 uh, gigabytes of flash. Hopefully, it's eight gig of RAM. Hopefully, it's even the i7. So, she got the Apple Care stuff like that. So, she, hey, they got tired of Windows, the Windows, the Acceleron. Windows that they've been getting with four gigs of RAM haven't been working. Some of the Windows products they had even had two gigs of RAM. It just wasn't working. And she needs something with more power, more reliability. She definitely needs the Apple Care. So I think it's a pretty good deal for them to get to go into Apple. They are she already got an iPhone. She's already into the ecosystem. So might as well. So, I had already powered it on, but I didn't know this was the entry screen, but looks nice inside, looks real good, everything looked clean, glass trackpad, I'm not going to go further than this, I'm not sure if it's the retina, but I'm, I, it should be, for the price she was telling me, it should be. I'll have all the details linked in the description so as you watch in the video you'll see everything but I don't know everything right now but I know she wants to get into her product all right so my sister she put in all her information um, her computer is pretty much ready to go um, pretty much got the exact specs is the i5 8 gig of RAM 256 gigs of memory and it's on point. It's a 2015 model model with the retina. So right there, that's hot. And it's ready to go. She got all her, all that Chrome is in there. All the apps at the bottom. She immediately downloaded the Chrome browser. Made that as her default. And it's all good. So just phasing this into the video so you guys can see. It's the retina. Um, actually looks very good, very clean, very clear, and it works. So, not bad at all, not bad at all. So, um, is it worth it? Yeah, it's worth it for what you're doing and how much how much power you need and so forth. It's worth it. When you buy a product like this, you want to get into it. You want to have that feeling of opening it up. I'm glad she gave me the opportunity to unbox it, to give you guys a little understanding on why we did this, well, she did this purchase, and they're tired of windows, tired of, of, the, of the nonsense, tired of, tired of using a product that is giving you trouble. Right now, my Samsung Galaxy camera that I'm using right now is giving me trouble because of bloatware. I don't have enough memory in it. And even though I have a memory card to hold the videos and the pictures, still too much mem too much bloatware inside the internal memory so she got enough memory in this um, she's already in the ecosystem of Apple so I think she I think she'll be pretty happy I think she'll be pretty happy with this um, it's a nice looking product man let me go through the ports with you guys you have your Apple connectors this is where you plug it in you got USB I believe that's I know it's a three port um, you have your headphone jacks you have a couple of mics there it looks like you have uh, HDMI another USB slot. sorry guys so nice looking product is definitely it's definitely dense it has a lot of weight to it it's not light and this is definitely the product this is definitely the type of computer that you buy Hey, to look good at the coffee shop. 
Let's be honest. A lot of people go to a coffee shop because they want to show off the device. Now, <laughs> right here I have the Chromebook Pixel, another device you won't feel ashamed being in the coffee shop with. Both looking, both good looking devices, aluminum, nice, dense computers. Now the Pixel is lighter. I could just feel it. The Pixel is lighter. The Apple MacBook is a little heavier, a little bit more dense. And when you match them up, that's how they look. Um, almost the same size. The thickness, almost the same thickness, but you know, the, the Chromebook is thicker, the Pixel. But USB-C on the Pixel and USB 3 ports is on the Pixel as well. So the ports match up. Ret I'm sure this have the Retina display. I'm almost 100% sure that the MacBook have the Retina. And it's, it's nice looking. It, you can't hate on premium looking Apple products. This is a premium one. Looks good. And you're going to pay the premium price. But it's not going to give you the trouble like, like Windows, man. <laughs> Straight up. Straight up. If I, if when, the day I leave Chromebooks or move over, I'll be moving over to Apple. That's straight up. You know, it's expensive, but you got to pay to play. That's the way it goes. You want to play hard? You want to do, be that YouTuber that does the nice videos? You got to go with the Mac, yo. People do movies and edit movies with MacBooks, man. With Mac Pros and, Mac, you know, that's what they do. So, you want... That Adobe Premiere, I know Cup Pro. Hey, those editing softwares are no joke. You're doing some good editing. You get a lot of features. And Final Cut Pro is $300 all by itself. So no matter which Apple MacBook or Mac Pro, whatever you, uh, you settle on with price, you still got to come up with another three bills for Final Cut Pro. So it's a big investment to become a editor and you got to have enough power within that computer to do that. And I don't think this will have enough power for that, but it'll be good enough for my sister. I pretty much see that it'll be good enough for her. So whether she got eight gigs of RAM, four gigs of RAM, whether it's the i5 or i7, I think that'll be enough. So, is it a bad deal? I don't think so. She's satisfied for what she paid for. It's a nice looking device. She's familiar with Apple. All her stuff is gonna go in. She has, she used the, you know, iTunes, stuff like that. She'll probably get into um, Apple Music. I'm gonna recommend her to try the free trial of Apple Music. And we'll see how it goes from there. Keep you guys updated. I'll basically try to do a review based on her experiences and if I use it, I'll do a review on my experiences. Um, right now, the Mac is the star of the show, not the Pixel, but I wanted to give you guys a general idea of how it looks and stuff like that. So, pretty much how this took place, I had to try out a few of my Chromebooks and she wanted a budget Chromebook so she checked out the budget Chromebooks and I have a video battle of the budget Chromebooks and those Chromebooks showed her that she needed much more and she said you know what I'm gonna ditch Windows I'm not gonna get another Windows computer I'm gonna go ahead and get myself a MacBook and that's what she did and I believe it's the right choice for her for me not as yet not as yet guys I got to get more subscribers before I invest into a MacBook because I'm still start I'm still looking to see what kind of videos I'm going to do. Am I going to do basic videos like this or am I going to step it up and do higher quality videos? I know you guys are going to say, "Oh, do higher quality videos." 
stuff like that. But sometimes you just want a video that gets to the point. You don't want all the flash and the dash. You know, you just want a video that gets to the point. So this is my unboxing of the certified, the Apple certified MacBook Pro 13. And I think it was a good buy. It's pretty good. The packaging was so-so. But once you got inside, the packaging was pretty nice. So with that, guys, see you guys in the next one.